have you ever tried to load the thousands or even millions of features onto the map and watch your browser struggling there is a better way with better tile you can stream a massive geospatial data smooth and efficient no more waiting for endless geojson to load in this video i'll show you how to use postgis pg tile sub and map library and try to test the visualization of huge data set like road wetland and population layer all with instant rendering with no lagging and dynamic style let's dive into and make big data mapping fast again all right so before starting this tutorial i want to make sure that you watched my previous videos about map library tutorial where i show you how to upload shape file to postgres database and how to create the vector tile using pg tile sub if you haven't watched those make sure you watch those first and then come back to this video basically in this video i'm going to test the speed or the capability of vector tiles with handling like thousands of data set in order to test those i added other two source of data which is rt wetland geo parket and then uh, road data set and of course those links will be provided in the readme file make sure to check the video description down below uh, to get the data set demo data set and in order to upload the shape file so basically i i relay on the previous script upload shp uh, which i have shown you in the last video so basically here i have data path and this is the connection string simply i'm going to use the geo database with this connection string and then i'm going to load that using a geo pandas and then i'm going to upload it using a two post gis function and um, similarly for the geo parque um, i have the data path after i download the data so i put that in this path and then this is the connection string and of course you can temporarily save it to the shape file just to see just just for your easiness but for me i can easily load parquet file in the qgis so maybe i don't need those um, and i simply upload it to the post gis and in order to do that i added pi arrow dependency which is essential for like loading the geo parquet file so if you are following my tutorial and if you are using uv then simply you can use uv sync sync to sync all the to sync or download all the dependencies and after that so before starting other things so i want to show you how it looks like in qgis so in qgis so it loads quite smooth and fine and then when i try to check the attribute table of this road data set uh, you can see that it has 49000 data set uh, features and then they they have like different uh, attributes right and then for the wetlands so basically if i check it so they have 55000 more than 55000 uh, features which is like this is the vector data i mean this is the polygon and then you have some attributes and then if i zoom to the layer so basically it will look like this and then i already provide link to this data set of course you can download and then test it uh, on your own and yeah so basically after i upload so i can quickly check it in the uh, my pg admin so if i refresh i'll get these two things over here and then of course i have us population data set from my earlier video if you loaded it correctly so just to just in order to load this data set so simply you need to use the uv first change directory to uh, this script maybe you might need to write uh, c cd slash vector tile uh, for me i'm already inside vector tile directory so i don't need to do it and then make sure you activate your environment and after that simply you can run uv run upload and then geoparket.py 
And if you do that, then definitely it will going to create the RI wetlands uh, table. And then for now I'm replacing the data. This is just for the demo purpose, right? And then you can also do this similar thing with upload save file. Upload ssp.py, which is right here with my data set. Uh, don't forget to change your data path and then connection string if you have different username and password uh, or the uh, your different host environment or the different database so make sure to change it and after that if you do that correctly uh, now you can run the pg tile sub so basically the pg tile sub I, I have i changed my directory to this pg tile sub uh, folder and now i think i can run it uh, using pg tile sub dot exe and then i can provide the config file uh, so basically my config will be so config will be pg tile sub dot two ml so inside which i only uncommented this part which is like db connection and of course you can play with catchy but for now don't make it like a complex tutorial that's why i'm i'm going with uh, the basic setup the simple setup once you run it makes you uh, your server is running in 7800 port so basically if we go to the browser and then lo uh, type localhost 7800 then you will see this interface so basically this is the pg tile sub um, kind of dashboard and here you can see all the layers and then uh, all the tables i have uh, it automatically detect all the geospatial table for now i have road data set wetland data set and population data set and uh, it's just the matter of like visualizing those things in a uh, map library so basically if we visualize it here so it is quite smooth it's using the vector tile and then also i think i can click and then get the all the like attributes related to this feature right and in order to like um, in order to make the map with these three layers together so i created the test uh, like uh, test large bt.html file so basically you can uh, ask chat gpt so i did the same thing with chat gpt to create the uh, demo file for for this tutorial so basically um, in title i wrote these things and then um, i added the script map library and then uh, i added some style like for the body and then map and then this menu is for like checkbox whether or not to like visualize those layers and then also there is some setting for the legend so actually i'm going to generate the dynamic legend based on wetland layer and then this is the like uh, actual menu i have roads wetland and state and for the legend i'm using only wetland types and then this is the function for generating random colors and then um, this is the actual map so in map i have like osm map is my background map and road source is my local host public and e this basically this name of the table whatever you have and then i have wetland source this is ri wetland and then i have state source us population right and then after that um, basically i style them basically for the uh, osm layer there is no style it's the raster type and for the states so i have fill colors uh, which is like 09999 and fill out the city is 0 0.5 and then for the wetlands so basically um i'm like writing this field um has cccc which is gray color with opacity and fill outline right and for the roads so i have this basically this list defining like if the road type is motorway then i have this color if primary then this color secondary this color and so on and so forth right and uh, for the pop pop up so i have eight pop up up function so basically it will uh, check uh, the feature and then check for the properties and then uh, based on key value pair i i simply add the pop up right and yeah i added pop-ups and then 
this is for the toggle layer visibility so basically i have that checkbox to check whether uh, which layers to visualize and which not to and uh, this is the map source data so basically um, it, it will assign the dark random color to wetland uh, type dynamically so yeah and then i'm adding that to the legend and yeah so that's all that's all about my logic and then if you already have like live server extension which is this one so you can go live and then you can visualize it in map so basically um, that html file will look like this and then of course um, there are like thousands uh, 100k features loading at the same time with no lag and no uh, no lagging experience right when i check the file size it was around like i think more than 50 mb so we can easily visualize more than 50 mb file uh, like simply in browser using like vector tiles right and if we click on any of these like either roads or the states so basically i'll get all the associate attributes right and then the wetland file is over here um in in higher zoom level it will look a little bit different i mean less vertices will be um rendered when I zoom in more and then I'll get the exact accurate vertices, right? And then this is the um, power of power of like vector tile and this is the capability of vector tile. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.